Francie and Cargo are happy their trial is bringing the issue to light. They're convinced that stealing from supermarket dumpsters is not a crime. The students don't want their full faces filmed because they face particularly serious theft charges. Their stolen goods, foodstuffs, like these mandarins, collected from a supermarket's garbage. The tons were full. The dumpsters were full, mostly with milk products like cheese and yogurt. There was also bottles, juice and some vegetables. Many people here in Germany are against the disposal of tons of foodstuffs by supermarkets. So-called dumpster diving has become a movement here, but it's illegal. Franzi and Caro think that's wrong. It doesn't hurt anyone. The foodstuffs were thrown into the dumpsters, so to us, it seems that they no longer have any value. The store can no longer sell them. A recent government survey shows that more than 80% of Germans are in favour of less food being thrown away. Sometimes the expiry date is still good, but it's thrown out anyway because new products are already there. Taking food from dumpsters is regarded as stealing, but morally, it's the right thing to do. Market operators at the trial insist they are obligated to protect consumers against the consumption of disposed food. Attorney Karl Dagenhardt has been watching the case. He thinks one solution is to change the law, as France has done. The legal situation in France was changed so that individual food shops are obligated to use the foodstuffs, to continue to use the foodstuffs and not throw them away. So individual shops would, for example, be required to follow food sharing concepts. That is what the two facing charges are demanding. They have even started an online petition. We wish that supermarkets and bakeries were made to further distribute foodstuffs. Whatever the court's decision, Caro and Franzi have accomplished one thing. Germany is talking about their case.